What's up guys, how's it going? Chaparro Fitness here and it's around 12 o'clock noonish. I just got back from class and uh, right now I'm just gonna about to eat something real quick because I'm heading out to light time to work out with my cousin Roger. Uh, really good guy, you know, enjoy working out with the guy. Cut filled up with that creatine. I don't know if you guys can see that. All right, there you go. I don't know what I'm gonna eat yet so far because this morning all I had was some Greek yogurt and some granola, but you know, being in class for like three hours, obviously you're still gonna get hungry. So, you know, still gonna decide what I'm gonna eat. All my past videos, it's been just me working out, music over it. But I wanna change it up a bit, you know, just vlog a little bit and also, you know, every now and then show you guys some raw clips of my workouts. Like maybe today I'll record for you guys with that chest and tricep workout. All right, so for my pre-workout meal, as you can say, uh, reduced fat peanut butter with multi-green omega-3 bread. Honestly guys, this bread is super delicious and macro friendly, obviously. 17 grams of carbs, five grams of protein, and only one gram of fat. It's the only bread I eat, to be honest, and I get that from Costco if you guys are trying to find out and want to try some for yourself. And one banana, so obviously I don't want to eat too much and just want to keep it simple. But yeah, it's just been really crazy busy. I have two jobs and on top of that, I have to go to class, so it's really not that easy, but like I said, anything is possible and gonna make it work for you guys, so stay tuned. All right, so you guys know how I said I was gonna meet up with my <clears throat> cousin to work out and all that, so funny thing is, is that I'm walking to his house right now, I'm, we're neighbors, right? Isn't that cool? My cousin's my neighbor, so. Got a sweet ride though, check that out. Check out that sign up our ass. Come on. Check that out. Pure beauty, guys. But uh, it's pretty hot out. That cellular core. Let's get it. Let's go, Roger. That's how we do it. So I'm heading out to work and um, as you guys saw I just finished off that chest workout but you guys are probably wondering why I'm in this uniform and all that but obviously I'm going to work and I work at Red Lobster. So give you guys a quick update of what's going on and you know where I'm at with my weight because I know I said I was uh, bulking the other time, I don't know if a couple videos ago, I said I was lean bulking and uh, you know I was talking about how I wanted to take it easy and you know obviously not gain more fat than muscle. Still on that bulk, I'm still trying to take it, you know, somewhat easy, you know, but obviously I'm not crazy tracking over my macros, just using common sense. But uh, on the weekends, I like to uh, go all out and have, I guess you could say a cheat day, cheat meal. But, you know, it's going well right now. I'm around 178 between that and 180. So last time that I weighed myself, I think maybe like Two months ago, I was like 170 or a month ago, I'm not very sure. Uh, a couple videos uh, that I had before, it said that I weighed around 170. Far guys, I'm feeling great. You know, not feeling, I guess you could say, full and disgusted or whatever, but I'm just feeling still pretty lean and, you know, veiny and just grinding it out. You know, like I said, I'm trying to uh, balance out school, the jobs that I have, still trying to work out so there's always time you know there's no excuses and still making sure that uh, I get the job done my cousin man he pushed it through that workout and uh, he's you know slowly progressing but you know getting the hang of it and just staying consistent you know that's what I always tell him that consistency is key and it's very true you want to um, you want to make sure that you're staying consistent with what you're doing and you know you will never fail so you know, shout out to you, Roger. You know, if you're, you're watching this, you know, man, you did a hell of a job. You, you know, you pushed it, and you know, I'm glad I was there to help out and you know, give out some tips. But guys, you know, basically, like I said, I've been crazy busy, but you know, no excuses. But just a quick update on how I'm doing. You know, feeling good. 
weight's going up, feeling strong, so got to keep progressing and getting better. So, and a lot of questions, you know, about, you know, what's your weight? You know, what do you want to reach? Uh, honestly, it's not about how heavy, you know, I'm not, there's not a certain weight that I'm trying to reach, you could say. Um, basically, take this bulk slow, because right now, what are we on? We're in September right now, you know, and I'm going to be bulking in at least till March, and that's when I'm going to start my 12-week diet, but, you know, I want to make sure I take it slow and see where, you know, where it takes me, you know, slowly make gains, you know, and make sure... I'm putting on as much muscle than fat because I reached to 192, the peak of my bulk, starting off at 140, and you know I felt happy, but obviously it was I had some more fat on me. But you know the the 12 week diet was a pain in the ass, but I got it through it, and you know the results were were uh, amazing. So I got onto 170, no 167 was my low time weigh in for my cut uh, from this March. So. You know, my goal is just to be stronger and look better than I did than my last cut. So, you know, I'm also going to be, you know, starting a series on that later on when I start my my cutting, you know, diet and all that. But for now, I'm just taking it easy, poking, you know. So it's nice, guys, you know, taking it slow and it's all about. But got to go to work. There we go.